Box finding is probably the highest skill thing in the game. So one thing I like to do is, mm -hmm. as you're chopping the cone, I'll time it up to try and okay. get a pump shot. I'll have my edit almost like pre-selected. Okay. Um, and then as soon as you finish it, I'll jump, confirm, shoot, and reset. It's gonna come, a lot of it comes down to editing to be really good at box fighting. Okay. Um, if you are, you can hop down on this side of me, on this wall. Okay. If you're here and you're trying to pickaxe my wall for one thing, then I'm gonna go okay. go ahead and try it. Then I'm gonna try and counter pump you as soon as it breaks. Counter shots are good when people try and break your walls. One of the best times you can do it that I, I try and look for is when they're reloading. That is an excellent opportunity to go for it. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to take, if you're trying to spray me down, right? Like with your SMG or your AR, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna be holding this. I'm gonna keep holding and it, go. and then, and okay. then you go for that really quickly. Um, yeah, I, I've tried to avoid that. Anytime I know I have to reload, like I, I'll do this real quick. Yeah, and that's smart. Another thing you can do if you are on the offensive of box fighting, if you're in here, you can you can build something there. Um, put yourself in a box. Is if I build cone like this, then I can attack you here. I can attack you here. I can attack the floor directly, actually. I don't know if you know that. No, I did not. How are you doing that? Come right here. And just come up here and aim between the floor and the cone. Like, there's a small little window for it, but aim right there. And then you have it. Wow, okay. Yeah, and then you can replace that. that. I did not know. Yeah, it's all about having tools, essentially, of what you want to do. So this is one tool you can use to attack people, right? Um, one of my favorite moves that is a risky move, but it's a fun move that I like to teach and do anyway, is if you have your wall, then the first part of this is a, just a good move to have. So first part, if you have this wall, I would first try and take the wall. Then I'd edit a window, put a cone in your box. Now, you can put a cone or a ramp, doesn't really matter which one. Um, yeah, no, but now, no, kind of fucked. yeah, even if you weren't inside there, if you were like above it, mm -hmm. then you don't, your only escape is you can't go above because you could go above, it's tough to do, but do you remember the cone jump we had? Yep. So yep. you could, you could do that if you edit this really quickly and reset mm -hmm. it. But if you have your cone above you, then that's a lot harder because I get to do two edits. Yeah, exactly. So tough situation to be in if I have your cone. Um, the other thing I can do to you is if you're here like this, then I can do something like that where I'm in your box. Now I can take the walls, whatever. I can reset. I can just kind of toy with you, right? So mm -hmm. pretty much the key to success in box fighting is to take as many walls, to have as much control over the box as you can. The goal is okay. control. So if you're just being patient and you're waiting for me to make a move, it's a little more risky. Like, it, let's say I'm you and I'm mm -hmm. in my box. Let's say you're just being patient and you're waiting for me to make an edit, right? You're just standing okay. out there. Then I'm kind of risking getting shot here. So in this situation, I would try and do something cheeky like that. Or I would do a right corner peek or something, oh, just a quick window. Something to put myself okay. where I can shoot you. You know, I don't, I'm not going to make this edit and wait and make it really slow. I mean, I could do this really quickly. Um, the only problem is the pump pullout delay is pretty yeah. slow. So there's a pretty good opportunity for you to shoot me. So if they're I spraying guess you- I need you, to get better at the wall edits. The wall edits are going to be really important. Um, when they're reloading, when they're swapping guns, when they're drinking shield, um, you just have to watch out for if someone does this, like let's say this is your wall, you take this wall from me, and I do this, you're gonna try and make a play, so I'm gonna... Do the I'm same gonna, thing. I'm gonna do the same thing, it's, I'm gonna fake you with the slurp, um, and then I'm gonna wait Makes for sense. the shot. So, there's a lot of counterplays to the counterplays, you know, um, the other thing you can do from low ground is get really good at that kind of thing. Or dropping them in. Yeah, that's why I try and like stay on the edges of the yeah, walls. Yeah, the edges thing. definitely a safer place. To yeah, be. I got but... trapped one or two times during the early seasons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think traps are OP as shit. They should not be 150. But just the same, 
Um, if someone's up above me, I do this a lot in Zone Wars. If someone's above me, just drop mm -hmm. them in really quick. You're doing a good job sitting on the edge. But people will stand right here. I can drop them in, shoot, and then now they're in my world. You know, now they're under there. Do whatever I want to them. Yeah, that's the last place I want to be is in someone else's box. Exactly. If you had this wall on me, then I'm going to get out. And I'm going to try and... Drop down. Yeah. Okay. Take control. Another way. Um, another play you can use that... I, I've had people try and do this to me, and because I know it, I can just rip them for it and punish them. But one play you can do is... Let's say I'm in my box, and you're trying to get in, right? So I'm going to let you try and take this. And then I can trap kill you. And That's very ballsy. It's super ballsy. And the only reason it would work is if I don't... If the way, Multiple ways to counter this. One is just... If you try and did this to me here, I'm in a box. I've, all, I've controlled this already, so you can't cannot do this to me. But you'll notice there there are ways to get into someone's box 100% of the time. So put your wall up between us. And if I have... Wait. <laughs> Wait, that just, what, what to, just happened. That has to be because of the map. That has to be... A, like, this is the map. Do that to me too. Look at the ground right in front. A little lower, I think. Yep. That's oh, yeah. Okay, I don't think that's allowed. Um, I don't know, maybe that's a new meta. Or I could just do that to you. I think I told you this one time, but where you can put cones above them. Do you remember how to do that? No, I do not. Okay, so what you do is you look just above, just above the wall, and then place it. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Simple okay. as that. Yeah. So you All can right. you can take pe people's walls over like that. If you see someone do this, where they have, they're phasing through it, mm -hmm. then what they'll do. Yeah. Uh, They'll oh, launch the themselves dash. forward. Yeah, the ramp dash. You know the move I'm talking about. So, there's times where people, there's ways to get into your box almost no matter what. So if someone tries mm -hmm. that on me and you're high health, let them in. You know, do this to them, um, where you just, they're in your box now, you know? Then you can mm -hmm. hop out and do that to them. But let's say you're low health, you're one shot, and you don't want to mm -hmm. allow that to happen. Then what you can do is, if you try and, like, just try and get into my box, what I'll do is, if you're trying to like run through, then I'll just jump out and okay. wall you off. And then now you're in my box again. But unfortunately, you control the whole box. Exactly. So that's how you would take that situation and take control of it. A couple things I've seen pros do that I have started doing. One is, um, I'll put a ramp. If I'm going straight, then I'll place a ramp behind me. You can place a wall behind you, you can spin for the wall, or you can just... Yeah, but you don't have to look, you just have to exactly. look down for the ramp, right? Yep. So that's why that'd be advantageous for sure, is to do that. Um, the other thing that I've started, I don't know if this is why, there's, when I was thinking about it, there's a couple reasons I would do this. You know, cones will, pros will sometimes do it with tunnel with cones instead. So there's two I've reasons. I've never actually seen that. There's two reasons I would do this. Two reasons. Okay. I think the, the last reason is kind of pointless, but it's... Provides more cover, doesn't it? So that's, Especially... that's, that's the third reason, and I don't think it's too useful. To so me, th it's still definitely a possibility, and I think it could help out with that. You you just have to make sure that you run along the side, so that you're not yeah, slowing yourself down. Yeah, this used to be the, the, the famous crossing loop lake Yeah, technique. exactly. <laughs> um, but the reasons I think it's better is because a lot of times you can... I can't place a floor there, but I can... You can usually place a cone further. Like, yeah, I can place a cone here, but I can't place a floor out there. You can try that yeah, for yourself. Have further to... yep. Yeah, you can't place a floor. So, if you want to do this with better cover, that's one reason. The other reason, this is my reason, no one said this to me, but the other reason I think it's advantageous is I would probably, for the most part, I've started trying to do cone, floor, wall because I'm taking control of the outside of the box where the only thing someone could take from me now is the floor and the cone, right? And so the reason I would prefer this in tunneling over, you know, say, a floor and a cone instead, let's say I had a floor and a cone here, then if someone is above me, right, then they have my cone immediately and they can edit it and they try to take the floor instantly try and attack me right exactly so if they had the cone instead 
if I have the cone instead, then I know I'm gonna be aware of it first. Because if you start chopping that down, I'm like, oh shit, someone's there. So I can place a floor first, and then I can place I can start turbo building the cone. Um, so I think okay. it gives you more situational awareness. If I want double cones, I would do that for the range of it. I mean, what they could do in this situation is, if I did have the cone here, so worst case mm -hmm. scenario is, the worst case scenario in having cone floor is that they take control of my floor first, right? Okay. Um, if you, let's say you're above me, take control of my floor real quick. So, oh, just... yeah, just like that. So now we're, okay, now I know you're there. So you still have to do two, th you have to do a few things. One, you have to chop down the cone, and then you have to do cone edit and a floor edit, which gives me enough time to react. You know? Yep, and you're already on your way. And I'm out of the way, exactly. So that's why I think, good cone. <laughs> that's why I think, um, having a cone on top is usually better. The only thing is, if someone has a heavy sniper, or is hard mm -hmm. focusing you, then, if they're below me, I'm. I, you have to double up every time because if you yeah, don't, you don't want to just get dropped. Exactly, and I, I've had that happen way too many. So a lot of times, let's say you're on the defensive, right? A few things you should know. Um, I'll give one if they're above you. Hop up above me real quick and take my cone and my floor. So in this situation, I'm pretty fucked, right? Because you have my ceiling. So what I'll do mm -hmm. is I'll place a ramp like this. Yeah. And then I'll edit out. So that's just. Simple thing, if they're above you, they nerfed high ground. I don't know if you remember this, but you used to be able to, the way you peeked, you would- Yeah, you could peek like with like no head almost at exactly. all. Exactly, yeah. So they nerfed that, so your head's pretty exposed when you do it. So there's not like a massive advantage high versus low ground. The only time I'd say high ground's more advantageous is when you're on a hill or definitely an end game. So I'll give you some, mm -hmm. some examples. Um, the editing thing is just, you're gonna have to work on that. There's no okay. secrets on that. The only secret I could say is knowing the right edits. If, so if I'm gonna make this bottom edit, a uh, bottom mm -hmm. triangle, then it, I do a bad job of this. This is something I've recognized and I need to improve. If I go top down, I'm looking down at the ground, right? So either- Yeah, I've been told you should start bottom and swoop up. Yeah, so I haven't, if, I haven't really done that as much yet. Most of my edits for walls are from- Middle down, right? Cause yeah. that's where your crosshair usually is. So you can make quicker edits like that. If you're gonna do that, then what I typically do is I don't confirm it till I'm looking at eye level. So okay. you can either start bottom up and then you'll be at eye level or you can just wait until you look back up before you do it. So that's something just with all ads to be aware of. Also, one other thing is to try and right shoulder peek as much as possible. So yep. this kind of edit, those, making sure you don't do this edit too much because you could just go to your left and you'll be pretty hidden. You could do okay. a door. If someone's waiting for a, a pump shot, right? Like, let's say you're trying to shoot me here. Yeah. The second you see, this is gonna work better against intermediate to poor players, but um, the second, you know, they see an edit, they might shoot. And mm -hmm. then, wall's broken, and you can get a shot in. Higher skill way to do it, and the more successful way to do that would be really quickly, just um, make a window and then edit it really quickly, reset. Okay. You also, if you're doing it, you want to trust yourself enough to make the edit in time, so I would edit right in front of my face. So you're like, okay. ah, open. Yes, I'm gonna shoot here for sure. So